Hi guys, good evening. This is Dr. Jenny Yusuf, physical therapist and doctor of physical therapy, creator and founder of Balance and Fall Support Group and Physiogen PT and Wellness. Every Thursday, we highlight innovators, academicians, physical therapists, and different clinicians who are making waves and also lots of trainings that can give us tips, you know, and also share their journey as a physical therapist. We have lots of innovators, and also we even interviewed audiologists and therapists from UK and Australia. But for tonight, we have Dr. George Rodriguera. He is a physical therapist, doctor of physical therapist, master of science. He is a manual therapist. So he is a fellow of American Academy of Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapists. And also he is a certified in McKenzie, in also in, what's the other one? Um, mechanical, uh, McKenzie is the mechanical diagnosis therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then yep. also the manual therapy. That is for, is it the Mackenzie and what's the other one? The, 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 the other one is Maitland. Maitland, I'm thinking Maitland. about that. Yeah, so the Maitland and also the certification in dry needling. So he's yes. really a certificate uh, manual therapist. So we want to learn more about, especially if we have clinicians out there who want to gear more on this niche and doing outpatient imagine they have four different clinics in sussex county in delaware and um dr george and also dr ann um his wife are both physical therapists and co-founders of pt works they are the founder and the owner of pt works physical therapy in delaware so without further ado um we have dr george rodriguera welcome dr george I thank you, Dr. Jen, for inviting me, and I'm happy to be here. Yes, yes. Dr. George, thank you so much. We are so fortunate that you were both in Delaware, so our weather here are the same, of course. And um, tell us more, how's your day so far with all those four clinics? How do you manage it? No, the, I manage it's uh, it's scheduled. Everybody with outpatient physical therapy is scheduled, so... We have uh, days that me and my wife, we split the the satellites. So we have four satellites. Our main office is in Milford. We have satellites in uh, Lincoln. No, not Lincoln. We have satellites in um, Greenwood, Milton, Lewis, and Long Neck, Millsboro. So we, we split our days. Um, and then we have employees, too, that runs the Milford office uh, and 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 some of the satellites so we we just you know do our thing and and everybody's doing good yeah so yeah we have uh we have yeah thank you thank you so it's it, you know kudos to my wife too she's she's doing all the schedules i just need to know what day it is so i can i can be where i need to be so yeah that's, teamwork that's right <laughs> yeah yeah that we definitely definitely need some some help there and uh you know, she she does a lot of things for us here. Yeah, I met also Dr. Ann. Um, she's also a physical therapist, guys. So we met in one of my facility as well. So thank you so much. So th with those busy schedules, also you have lots of certifications. What's your motivation and passion, Dr. George? Why you keep learning? Why you have lots of this training? And why orthopedic? You know, to be honest, uh, motivations is is our patients. You know, we have we always have patients that are are uh, um, has problems that we can't help. So I always look for for different areas and techniques that we can improve, and then we just you know the certification just comes with it. But the the real the real thing is the learning and and patients that I can't help, we have to keep looking for stuff that will work um, with, you know, with education and training. And most of them are out of state. So we, we really have to schedule um, a time to to learn and think about those patients that we can't help. So we can, we can uh, bring, you know, uh, learnings from all over the world or all, all over the, the country to, to our, our, hometown here in Delaware. 
but yeah, the motivations is the patience, and that's that's why we get these certifications anyway, so we could bring it here. Yeah. So of all your certifications, Dr. George, that's a lot. So what are the um skills that you always use majority during your um in your outpatient? Like I know it's more yeah. majority are manual, but what's the more cases yeah. that you always treat? Yeah, that, that's a great question. So with with day to day stuff. Uh, tell everybody, and I teach uh, PTAs and students in the clinic about McKenzie principles and Maitland principles. You know, that's that's what my, the bread and butter in the clinic is, and I try to share it with everybody. So we we do manual therapy for patients that needs it, and obviously we we have to do active exercises too. So uh, those two principles that I mentioned, there's they are a good blend. You know, they they they. Um, they compensate each other they they um i think but because because the pay the the two mckenzie and maitland they're they're patient response methods mm -hmm. so they they really complement each other for the patients yeah so as a physical therapist i'm listening and our other colleagues will listen there will be some students as well but in a short and simple description how can i say that this is mckenzie and this is maitland just like to differentiate because you said they blend together okay. so for us as a beginner um okay this is mckenzie and this is good for this kind of approach and this maitland is good for this kind of things mm -hmm. and this is why i use it something like that yeah so maitland techniques they're they're focused on manual physical therapy so they we would uh, assess what kind of techniques of manual therapy techniques is appropriate for the patient, whether it is, um, you know, passive accessories, which is where we would would um, mobilize the joint. Um, and there's different ways of mobilize, mobilizing the joint, um, you know, whether it is for range of motion or decreased pain, whether it is in the beginning of the range, mid range, or end of the range, mm -hmm. so it is it is very um, dynamic. You know, it it really not si one size fits all kind of thing, but it it really depends on what the patient needs as far as the technique goes. So M M Maitland is a manual physical therapy technique. Now McKenzie is also manual physical therapy technique on a on a different um, approach. Now uh, McKenzie also emphasizes active exercises. And they look for what they call direction of preference and centralization. So with um, McKenzie, this is where the exercise comes in. So that's why I say it complements each other. So Maitland's mm -hmm. for manual and then McKenzie exercises for the active part for the patient. And this is also uh, what they go home with as far as uh, their their self-care, their self-management. So McKenzie would look for, the McKenzie part of it would look for direction of preference, uh, exercises that should not or should minimally hurt and easy uh, mm -hmm. to do at home. Mm -hmm. So they should get a blend of active and passive uh, therapy. Wow. Thank you. So at least we have some basic ideas, guys, on how and when we use Maitland, Mackenzie, because I'm sure majority of us always listen. And this is a great skill. And if we want to learn more about Mackenzie and Maitland therapy, where did you do your certification, Dr. George? And how can we learn more as a norm, like a physical therapy? Yeah, they're all over. So um they have their own series of courses. So Maitland mm -hmm. Technique would be ozpt.com. And um and Mackenzie would be Mackenzie Institute USA.com. Yes, so yeah. so they have their courses. I, I really recommend them. Um spend time with them. And it doesn't have to be quick, you know, it's it's just mm -hmm. one course at a time. And before you know it, you're you'll be finishing the whole program. Mm -hmm. And congratulations, you're a fellow of American Academy of Orthopedic mm -hmm. Physical Therapy. And what is it to be a fellow? And how you been, um, what are the requirements, Dr. George? Like, is so there a this, year? Things like that. Yeah, the fellowship program is the same as the McKenzie and the Maitland. It has, you can um, 
you can look at the accredited programs. So it is would be American Academy of Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapy uh, for the website. And they have a list of accredited institutions or universities um, that they accredit for, for the mm -hmm. fellowship. So it is mine. I took mine in Damon, Col Damon University in New York, uh, upstate New York in Amherst, uh, Buffalo area. And that's where I did my my uh, mentorship uh, mm -hmm. as well. But anyway, so this is a maximum of three-year program. It's a three-year program mm -hmm. uh, and depends on the school or the institution that you signed up for. They have series of courses. They have online courses, um, papers to write and papers to read. They have on-site and off-site um, learning um learning tools so and uh and again it's three years worth uh i think that a i believe it's a time limit so you have to finish in three years um and i actually don't know um, what will happen if you don't finish in three years but it does have a time limit and um like what I said with all the certification courses, you know, to take one course at a time and before you know it, after three years, because it's it's all it's all planned out. So it's it's you know, people already have done it. So it, the, the series is planned out, so it's doable for three years. And before you know it, you know, take one course at a time. It's it's definitely a commitment. One course at a time and and then you'll be finished. Um the hardest part there is signing up for it, you know, because you and as I said, it it needs to be, it's a commitment. It's a in in our case, it's a family commitment because I I do have a family. So, um, at, at home here, you know, it's it's a sacrifice, sacrifice for family life and and uh, time. So, you have to talk it over, look at the cost because it is it is going to school for for three more years post grad. So. It is um it is a commitment, but again, it's definitely worth it. I think it's the best um uh besides my DPT, Doctor of Physical Therapy degree, this the fellowship is is um probably the best um investment for myself, uh that's that I would say. Yes, congratulations. I really believe that time, especially when you're doing something, it always needs to have a sacrifice. Yeah. But oh, overall, it's always for them, you know, that yeah, you're doing you're... it for them, it's mm -hmm. for the family, but it's really a teamwork for each and, and communication. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. True. It's definitely, it definitely needs, uh, you know, teamwork for everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. At home but... and at network. And this is the highest um degree that you have in your certification, but overall you are really amazing with continuing your investing in yourself. That's what you just said. So with all the clinicians that are listening right now, what is will be your advice if they are gearing on musculoskeletal or manual therapy? What will be their biggest um skill that they need to focus on or improve? Uh, personally and also like in like an educational skill yeah so manual therapy is an art so it it it, it really really depends on the patient and what they need and also depend on us as far as physical therapists on the interpretation on what the patients needs at that particular time so it's um it's it's a skill that needs to be learned and practiced. So sometimes you learn it in YouTube or sometimes you learn it in school or continuing ed courses. And I'm guilty with it myself. Sometimes when I go to a continuing ed course uh, and if I don't practice it, then I'll forget it. And the psychomotor skills, the, the hand skills will be lost. So it's definitely good to practice it, uh, practice amongst your coworkers, your family, and you know, practice amongst the patients, and and um, you know, eventually you'll you'll be better with those psychomotor skills. Psychomotor skills is when we, you know, use our hands and and uh, mobilize or or stretch for the benefit of the patient. So you just practice, 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 and it'll be. And don't don't um, manual therapy wise, it killed me when it was all online. I I don't take, very rarely take online courses. I do some. Um, 
but I I like being there and I like you know practicing my psychomotor skills all the time. Because it's a manual, yeah. so you yeah, need it's the manual, person. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the mano. Definitely, yeah, you definitely yeah. need it there. You know, that's true. How about our listeners for our caregivers and patients? If they have, uh, what will be your advice? Majority, what's majority of your cases, Doctor George? Is it more? And I'm sure always back pain or sciatica, yeah. most probably. Or what's your biggest advice for our listeners right now who are patients or dealing with pain or something? Yeah, we usually. Uh, treat the 60 or 70 percent of our clientele is spine pain whether it is cervical uh whether it is cervical or neck mid back or thoracic or lower back pains or lumbar spine si joint stuff um that's what i like to 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 do it's 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 a problem solving skill is necessary there i believe um compared to post-surgical joints uh but anyway with with caregivers if you're having therapy or you're you as patient, if you're having therapy, then um, those manual techniques too can be learned. So if you are, if you are caring for somebody, then you can sit maybe in front, uh, you know, with sit with the session and learn uh, how it's done. It can be learned. Um, and that's great too, because you could practice, you know, every time with, with the one you're caring for. So manual therapy is a learned skill. Um, anybody can learn it, I think. Um, that's why you know, uh, I with me if you have if there's a caregiver, um, I always you know call them back, and then show them what I'm doing, and if they want to learn, and if they if the patient is would let them do it too. Sometimes that's that's a dynamic that's kind of personal, so if uh, it can be learned, so you can PTs like me or like you would show the the caregiver, and then they can do them themselves, then follow-ups they can have questions but it's a skill that can be learned by anybody you don't have to have a doctorate degree to to provide it to your your family uh, the basics treat them at home of course right yes. <laughs> yeah so that's really true just the precautions explain the precautions the benefits and then mm -hmm. If the patients allow but for us clinicians i've heard that you're also teaching us physical therapist for um you have a continuing education in your PT works clinic so can you tell us more Dr. George especially yes. Delaware uh, clinicians who are here local might check on you yeah two years ago this is the third year two years ago I offered um I, I joke around that my midlife crisis is teaching now at, at some point because it's it's a lot more work than what it's worth sometimes but um two years ago I've started um, to teach continuing education courses in the clinic in Milford. So it's it's our way of training our employees and then might as well have somebody come in to to practice with and to learn from. But um, so I have, uh, it's it's manual therapy and that's, that's what I uh, specialize in. So I have been teaching regional stuff. So neck, neck for one day, lower back for one day. And I am... Uh, probably going to do extremities one day uh, and then it's manual therapy it's hands-on it's probably 80 percent uh clinic clinical clinic uh 80 percent um, hands-on so there's going to be a lot of practice i applied for eight hours of uh, continuing education credits for delaware and um and uh, maryland and I could provide also for other states, you know, we could provide the requirements so they could apply it for, for themselves in their own states. But uh, mainly focusing on Delaware, my first in, in, my first goal was to teach P, my PTAs and my students and my staff uh, the way I like to do things. And then it kind of evolved to why not have somebody, why not have um PTs from other clinics, and I am very thankful, you know, for the for the first for the first two years that I've done it. Um, and there's support from other clinics too, you know, not not just in 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 my office, obviously, for other outpatient clinics, um, and hospitals around there. I am thankful for the support, and I I believe there's a need for it because I you know our our classes has been sold, um, and 
And if you look at the website, I don't really ask for a lot, but I, I just, I'm just passionate about uh, learning. And now I'm passionate about teaching um, physical therapists now to, to, you know, uh, to just learn new things. And, uh, and also this one way of me showing other therapists what we do in our office. Yeah. Yes, that's really good at me sharing your knowledge and then benefiting your, your staff. And I believe one of the students also rotated in our, I think, Brittany. Shout out to Brittany. Yes. <laughs> Brittany. Yeah, she also rotated. And speaking of PT work, so you do your um courses in PT Works Clinic. I have this pen. <laughs> So I saw it in our, so congratulations in all your success with your courses. Definitely we can share your courses to our colleagues. And is it a one day or two day course, Dr. George? Yeah, it's a one day course. Okay. It's uh, it's just, I, I consider it as a uh, workshop actually, because it's mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot of uh, hands-on in yeah. two hours of, uh, two hours of, um, Oh, sit down lecture. So it's and then majority the rest of the yeah, day will be manual. Gonna be, mm -hmm. It's yeah. gonna be a workshop type. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats. Do you have any questions, guys? If you have any questions, you will connect with Dr. George. So, Dr. George, how can we connect with you? Yes. Uh, Facebook is the best way. I'm addicted to Facebook, which is uh very bad to admit. <laughs> but uh, Facebook is Physical Therapy Works. Uh, I I should post more there, but uh, I'm going to try and post more. But I do check messages there. And email, obviously, is ptworksdelaware at gmail.com. Yep. And our website is ptworksdelaware.com. How about your, do you have any upcoming courses that, um, I know you oh, just finished do. a couple of courses a few uh, months ago. Um, do you yeah. have... How frequently do you do it? I do it in May. I have been doing it for the last two years in May and June. Okay. And I do. I'm looking at the calendar right now. It's the next one for a cervical course is May 11th. Mm. So it's already scheduled. Um, my staff are, are, are coming, obviously. They're forced to. No, it's, they're not forced <laughs> to. But, but it's continuing education course. You know, it's local. It's home. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to travel anywhere. It's eight hours, um, eight hours worth. It's approved by the state. So mm -hmm. it's uh, May 11th and the one in November, there's no date yet, but I usually just post in Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and it's usually uh, book solid. So it's, it's good. It's, um, it's, I like it. It's, it's my uh, stress reliever, actually. I'd rather make a course than do my notes. Yeah, I might attend one of those courses to freshen yeah. up our musculoskeletal. And the June, yeah, so it is great. by body parts. So if it is cervical on May, it will be lumbar on the other lumbar. month. Lumbar, yeah. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, and next year I'll probably do uh, an extremity one for, for yeah. upper and lower extremity. Yeah. yeah, because I did majority of my musculoskeletal. I have lots of musculoskeletal training, but I didn't work in a patient at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was in Abu Dhabi when I did uh, more on, um, what do you call this? More on snags, snags. I yep. Yeah, yeah. Mulligan, mulligan technique. techniques. Yeah, yep. mulligan technique. And then a little bit of Mackenzie, but I don't have any Maitland idea. So thank you so much, Dr. George. Yeah. You're yeah. amazing. We are proud of you. And um, thank you for sharing your knowledge. And definitely, we would love to share it with our colleagues, okay? So guys, if you have any questions, connect with PT Works Delaware and Dr. George in LinkedIn, Facebook, all of course, right? All right. Yep. Thank you so much, Dr. George. And thank you so much, guys. So connect with us. You're welcome. Have, if you have any questions, Dr. George is our highlights for the Balance and Fall Support Group in Aging Adults. <laughs> so That's good. it's me again, Dr. Jenny Yusuf, physical therapist and Dr. Physical Therapist. I'm your new state advocate for APTA Geriatrics for Delaware and board certified clinician for geriatrics. Bye for now, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks again.